Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ammo Bus Videos YouTube channel. I'm Ammo Bus Videos, otherwise known as Ammo Central, and welcome to an exciting OMSI 2 video. A brand new map means brand new routes um, and brand new vehicle route um, sort of allocations and opportunities. However, when we do look at the um, in depth and detail between the lines, it isn't a new map after all. In fact, it is the long awaited left path conversion of Bodenham. Yes, Bodenham is back. Dazza has made it once again, updated it for version 5. And in this video, we are going to be taking our first drive on here. Now, I'm going to explain the two options for the maps that are available, why there is a second option in place and why this may be looking a little bit different to the right path um, variation. For example, we're at Hereford Station, we're going to be operating to Apsley um, Railway Station, but instead of it being the 375 like it used to be, it's the 408. We do have in front of us the E400 MMC by Studio Polygon. Um, I've downloaded the um, Studio Polygon blinds for Bodenham. There's master switch ones and there's London power blinds. The London power blinds should give you a little bit of an idea as to the as to the theme of this map now although i must warn you at the beginning of this video for some reason um all of the buses going around the air vehicles are white don't know why don't know what i've missed out i'll have a proper look after recording this video but for now i thought let's crack on um, and get a run in now the 375 between apsley and hereford was one of the more iconic services it was definitely one of my favorite runs purely because it sort of has a bit of length to it. It's half an hour in length. It's not too long, but it, it sort of has the rural to urban linkings. It reminds me a little bit um, of what like the 576 was like and, and routes like that. So with the London bus stops, um, you would be right in thinking that it is all a bit Londonified. So we are driving um, in Bodenham version 5. Yes, however, um, Bodenham version 5 is based in London. So the idea is, is it's sort of South London going on Kent um, was basically where it's been based from. Um, so the operators have changed. It's no longer South Yorkshire. That personally for me, I do I, I do miss a little bit. Um, but I do like the idea that it's a little bit different. Um, you might have to bear with the game. It might be a little bit patchy during this video because this is my literal first time driving the map. Um, so it's still getting used to it all. But yes, it's um, now based in London and London and Kent. So quite a lot of services are run by Red TFO buses. However, there are also some routes run by Stagecoach. Now, this is where you lot come in and you have to let me know what you want to do in the comments. Because I personally would like to do this other option. However, it depends on what everybody's interested in. So I'm thinking initially to record videos around the London routes, around the London-based map, um, the services affiliated with the sort of London-esque of it, um, the TFO routes and then the stagecoach routes. And then, um, as some people absolutely loved, just like I did, the original Bodenham services run by First South Yorkshire, or themed around First South Yorkshire SYT, Somebody has made a first Apsley repaint pack, branding pack, and renumbered the routes. So although the bus stops remain the same, um, the base route timetable selection remains the same. They've changed it so that all of the um, sort of in routes, like the buses themselves, um, carry the original service numbers, and there is branding just like there was with the original M MAN. NL202. So it's all of that um, is an option. So I'm thinking of covering quite a lot. Probably every single service will end up driving, knowing what we like on this channel. We'll end up driving every service um, in the um, sort of TFL red era. Although, as you see, I am driving Stagecoach Bus to start off with. And then what we'll do, these lights were green. <laughs> they were green. Um, although, then what we'll do is we'll then download the pack that changes all the um, liveries, changes the AI vehicles to have a little bit more variety um, and changes the routes to the original numbers that we know and love and then we'll probably do all of the routes with those numbers as well. Please let me know what you think in the comments section. I am quite um, easy... Oh, it's, it's 
pass. There we go. Let's tuck it in. Otherwise, we'll never leave. So I thought we'd go with Stagecoach because um, everything is AI. Um, is of all the vehicles are all white for some reason. Um, I do believe I'm, I might be missing a couple of bits and um, repaints wise. Um, so we'll check that for our next videos if we do the TFO ones. People aren't fussed. We'll go straight to the first apps list off. I mean that's entirely fine by me because that's how I remember everything. So it would just it would make sense um to go back to the original original stuff um but yes if, if people are interested in seeing them all in the the current original like the, the renumbered format um let me know and i'll um, get the repaint sorted and bits like that i have also finally downloaded london bus route 24 the pimlico route um seven miles in length is that service with inbuilt map curtailments and bits like that so expect some videos um, on that as well i have been wanting to drive that map for quite a while it is um, quite a long time in the wait i've downloaded it on the same day i've downloaded broaden and version 5 so as i say um, expect that to sort of be intertwined um, within the content i'm doing around broaden and version 5. now at the time i'm filming this i'm probably not going to have immense amounts of um, free time to actually film the videos but hopefully um, it should still all still all release on time and at least for the next couple of weeks um, you can expect regular Thursday and Sunday videos. As I say I do apologise um, that this series tends to take the brunt um, on the channel it tends to be the most unreliable um, content I do unfortunately um, every channel has unreliable content um, the lighting is totally wrong every channel has unreliable content where the creator is focusing on that much other stuff um, that something just gets knocked to the side unfortunately for the and more um, community it is um, the OMSI 2 videos here I do absolutely love doing them um, I really really do do not get me wrong Oh, we've got a London bus. Does that mean that this is actually a London route? Oh, are we, what are we doing? Yeah, okay, so this is a London route. Oops, I probably should have used a London bus on it. Hey-ho, we live and we learn. It was all the E200 MMCs I was spawning in early and none of them were coming up with their liveries. So I don't know. I think... I, w I would think that I need to install variation of the E200 MMC. That strikes me as the potential cause potentially um, but I'll, I'll sort that for the next video um, yeah we'll see but as I say I'm looking for your opinions um, based on how we structure how we structure the content um, around oh that, that's looking good how far it's sun I need to go over a little bit more and now we should be okay. Oh, look at that. That looks good. It's very strange being back in um, back in Bordenham. To be quite honest with you, we had, there were quite a lot of people who have um, sort of tried to do the conversions in the past. Um, and it was always one of these maps that struck me as such a good one to convert. But because of how big it is, it is a difficult task. And I mean, there was the odd creator that tried to redo it, remodel, add a few bits. And unfortunately, for a map like this, it that the idea of adding sections as well as converting it tends to be so time-consuming that you just never end up releasing the map. Um, as a developer of an absolutely huge map with millions of routes, your map just falls to the to the side because you're adding that many different routes in and. You're not finishing bits off, not not without realizing, but because you 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 launch that many new routes, you get the road sorted, you end up driving them, and then next thing you know, you just never end up actually finishing them, and then as a result, it never gets released. And then that's not to say the remodeling and it's like the repathing with this, for example. There's quite a lot to it, and it's really really nice um, to see that we do finally have version five of Bordenham. Um, and have a proper release of boarding them because um, with the Aussie X forums when we lost version 4 it was quite sad because it, it was the it was sort of 
our UK mods claim to fame was that um, across the OMSI world community with Bordenham. Um, I mean, that was what really got people sort of looking at the UK community um, and sort of going, oh, that looks interesting. And then other people saw the videos and thought, oh, I'll buy that game. Oh, I'd like to make mods and I'd like to do this and do that. And this this is the map that really kicked it off. Whether whether you like it or not, this was the one that properly kicked off. We had West Country, but unfortunately at the time, West Country wasn't as well promoted as it should have been. The Right Path one just wasn't as well promoted. If it would have been, it, it would have been vastly, vastly popular. But... It just wasn't promoted, unfortunately. That was such a colossal shame. But with how how well Bodenham was promoted, the brandings, deliveries, the, the the worldwide interest it got, it got people interested in OMSI generally in the UK world. It got people um, in the UK, should I say not UK world? Um, that's a little bit too egotistical um, for the UK, even for them. Um, and it also, as I say, got the Gomzi world community involved um, and got them interested in, in the UK uh, mods um, community. And as a result, that's how we've got stuff like West Country, um, West Country in its current format. We've got um, Lincolnshire. We've got all of these additional things because, not just because of the creators, because for maps I've listed, the creators were there, but because of the contacts that they were able to make and because of the enthusiasm this map gave us. I mean, gave gave the Omsi World community to go, oh, wow, they're, they're doing some good stuff at UK mod side. And because it was that interest, people wanted to crack on and make more stuff. It's exactly the same um, with, the Hong Kong, with the Hong Kong community. If there is people that, that want to drive the maps and drive the routes, they will make more of them. Because they'll be getting the appreciation, they'll be getting the, the support, be it financial, be it moral support, be it support from other creators in other countries to sort of make make these maps, make these routes. And that's why, as I say, Bowden and V5 being released is such a, a, a big milestone so that we now have Bowden as a downloadable map again. That I think is really cool. The only thing that is a shame is we don't have SYT routes. However, um, hopefully um, we can get um, our certain beloved SYT um, repaint creator to make some old SYT and, and brown and cream SYPTE liveries for stuff like the Volvo Olympian Palatine, a bit fictional, the Fleet Line and stuff like that. If we could get some original SYT reds and then some SYPTE brown and creams on those vehicles, I would quite happily um, convert part of my AI list or, or create a, an AI list um, to reflect um, Bodenham 1980s as it used to be. It's a shame that we don't sort of have the older uh, vehicle types in the single deckers. Um, I mean, the oldest that we go is um, the renowned that, I mean, we could go mainline. We could just have the, the oh my gosh, the yellow and red mainline. I wouldn't be against that. That would also be quite cool, the mainline to first, first bus transition period um, when Stagecoach sold their share in mainline and it became just first bus, yes. Um, before Stagecoach entered Sheffield, um, entered Sheffield with, oh, there we go, we're turning right here. Yes, before Stagecoach entered Sheffield with the purchase of Traction Group, um, they were already in Sheffield um, for a period of time um, by owning Mainline. Um, they, they bought a share in Mainline um, with First Bus, or First Group as it was at the time, and then a couple of years later they sold their share of it. Oh, there's a lot of buses. Um, they sold their share of it um, and it became first. First main line and then first South Yorkshire eventually. Yeah, I probably should have picked a London bus for this. I mean, I just saw that there were stagecoach vehicles and I thought, ooh, stagecoach. <laughs> so I, I, will, I will do a little bit more research before the, before the next videos um, to try and actually pick an appropriate London vehicle. Although the, the um, livery does look good and the, the blinds do look good. And...
and it is quite nice. It's quite nice to drive with the, the new stagecoach livery. Although it still isn't as good as Beach Ball, I am warming to this a bit more, especially especially when I see it on new stock. Um, it seems to it seems to really, really look good on new vehicles when they're just launched. Like really good, and I would argue it looks better than Beach Ball did on new on new vehicles in sort of the later years. Just purely because Beach Ball is a livery that wears well so it sort of like fades in time quite well it, it doesn't look mucky it, it doesn't sort of start to fade off and stuff like that it's quite a robust livery but because of the the, the amount of time it was out and the varying vehicle types it just it just didn't have the same fresh look with brand new stock that i think this livery does i mean I, i've done so many nice Sun sunlight shots of these new MMCs in this livery um, around the north of England, like places like Manchester, around Hull Interchange, when lighting's been right, Sheffield as well. Um, although I do need to do some more sunlight photos in Sheffield. And the livery just, it looks so good in the sunlight on a new vehicle with the grey seats inside, it, it all... For me, I do, I do really like it. I mean, don't get me wrong, you, you do have to clean a bus in this livery more than you would have to have cleaned Beach Ball because you can tell when a bus in this livery is mucky or it hasn't been painted in a while and, and stuff like that. You, you, you can tell. That is the, the, main, the main negative with it. Farrow Field. Bitter, bitter Manchester. Um, where are we? Farrah Field 19. Now oh, we're doing all right for time. It's quite nice, is this map? I feel it's quite refreshing because it has been absolutely years since I drove Borden and version 4. I sort of vaguely remember the places, but because the places have also had a bit of a shake up as well, it sort of it does it does sort of just give the new map vibe. I mean, un unlike Scunthorpe, Scunthorpe was a direct conversion. Now, because Scunthorpe is a realistic place, if they'd have changed it too much, it would have become Scunthorpe fictional. Because uh, Mr. Moose did that much of a good job on the original one, you kind of don't want to change stuff about if it already looks 99.9% .9 realistic. So, stuff like that you can't change. But a map like this, because it is fictional, they've changed the operators, they've changed the route numbers. And it's a conversion, but with new bits added as well. And sort of the new bus stations and bits like that being revised. It does sort of just give new map vibes. Like, as I say, the 375 being a core service that, that is now the 408. I mean, I, I will be, once I have driven most, if not all, of these routes with um, the fleet, the, the route numbers given in the map and, and the operators given and stuff like that. Again, apologies for picking the wrong, um, <laughs> wrong livery for this one. Um, once I've sort of done all of this, I will be changing my route numbers back to um, the originals and I will be changing um, to first bus again. Um, that is just my own personal preference. Um, I do want a map where I can drive first bus livered vehicles on it, um, single deckers, double deckers, because the only other map you can really do that with is Yorkshire, and the issue with Yorkshire is the only first bus route officially on there is a 17 and it has a low bridge, so you can't use any of the deckers, so it would be quite nice to have a map, especially with the Studio Polygon um, B9 um, pack coming out, and B9s in the UK being predominantly associated with first bus. And I do really want to take them on the 375 and they, they, it'll feel, this will feel like an appropriate route to take them on, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'll still have London bus stops and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I mean, it is, it is important to note um, that first bus vehicles... That sounds quite rough. Um, first bus vehicles don't serve 
properly TFL flags. Um, I know that they, I believe they do in Uxbridge, a couple of stops in Uxbridge, but um, for, especially in Slough, where TFL, the 81 operates, and believe it or not, they don't actually serve any of um, the TFL stops. In fact, Beeline um, are under the local council bus stops. And that's the first bus operation there. And that vastly... Hey, West Street! Uh, <laughs> we, we, like, we like the South Yorkshire names. Um, however, TFL have them put their own bus stop flags up that the 81 stops out. So the bus stop flags are next to each other at the same bus stop bays, but are for different routes. So it's quite it's quite funny as that. I mean, you, you could go around and replace all the flags here or keep the odd TFL service in and make it first beeline. I mean I would be very I would have been very tempted to put first beeline on here. I think they could have they could have put it round sort of the London, round the fictitious Heathrow side and potentially a, a small fictitious super loop. Um, if you wanted, so you could have done a, a fictitious sort, short super loop route in part, and um, had B line um, MMCs running around with first boss and done stuff like that. Um, that'd have been pretty cool. But as I say, it's it's everyone's preference, um, and they chose to do London and London and Kent. So. I'm going to be honest, I probably should have just stopped to check traffic there, but I kind of was like, I, I, I thought the giveaway was the other way around, and I'd, I'd got to a point in which I was like, I can't really slam all on now. So, it was a bit of a gamble. We can just pretend that this is some sort of strike extra. That's what we're, that's the assumption we're going to go by. Is that this is a strike extra boss? Oh, four or two. I've gone the wrong way. That said straight ahead, didn't it? Yes, I followed the signs. This isn't, this totally isn't that dodgy. It's fine. There you go, it's fine. I know what I did there. I looked at the right, the right arrow floor and just followed that. That's what I did. I just <laughs> saw the right, the right arrow floor and my mind just fuzzled and I just followed that. Oh crikey, this is a this is a bit different. Ah, this is this is very much a TFL style bus station. Although to be fair, with this bus station and its original layout as well, I entirely understand why they went TFL because it did always feel like a, a sort of a big big bus station. Yeah, the we've run out of, we've run out of textures. <laughs> we've run out of textures, oh dear. Is that behind us? That might be. Try and pick the next route to do. That is the B5. Well, very nice Trident 2 on it. I understand that I, I was about to say, I understand that I'm quite early, but we're just going to keep going. We shall just keep going. Now, I do like this. It, as I say, it's sort of like bringing back my memories, um, because you don't realise, I don't, I personally don't realise how many... I personally don't realise how many years I've been playing on Z and it's like boarding and is quite a throwback. I've pretty much I did the majority of the bus services in the map. I mean this time round I will be doing everything. I will be doing every route. I mean I've I've got to 
Okay, but that really messed with my brain. That seriously messed with my brain. No, this time round that I will be doing every route. I believe in Yorkshire I've got to check how many of the routes I've done. I believe I've done everything now in Yorkshire counties. If there's any really, really obvious routes I've missed out, please let me know. That, I would say it doesn't, but can include the routes that are numbered one direction and I've done it in one direction, but I've not done the route number that does the other direction. That does include them. Because if I don't include them, I've not really covered every single route technically, have I? Swanley! <laughs> yep, definitely can. And there we go. Walton Avenue. We must be nearly there now. This must be like... Somebody did ring the bell. Oh, they're coming down the stairs. A uh, couple more stops and we're there. If so it's this stop, the next stop, and then we reach the train station. I do forget how big Apsla Centre is. Alton Road. Oh, we do love the South Yorkshire names. That's what I think is quite cool. It's sort of like bit of Kent, bit of London, but the, the names are still South Yorkshire will stop. Very good. This is quite a, quite a low bridge. Think Finn. Oh my goodness, yeah, Think Finn. Yeah, there's unfortunately no stagecoach. I was hoping, because stagecoach is one of the operators on here, to have a, a stagecoach name with the with the roundel, um, with the new logo roundel on. That would have been quite cool. Here we go. I don't remember this bit, if I'm honest. Um, I, I don't. I don't remember it. I, I would imagine it's been heavily remodelled. But I don't. I do not remember this bit. Although, again, I must emphasise it has been absolutely yonks. We were a bit early, but what we'll do is we'll head on to 
head on to layover and finish off the video. So yeah, we'll put not in service and let's see if there's all there's anything else on here that I've missed. Anything weird or random? No, it's all just it's all just routes. There are quite a lot of routes on here. You do again forget purely how many routes there are. This is another one, the 800 knuckle shuttle. I've got to actually put 800 on. Put that on while we're up back for something a bit different, isn't it? So that's the staff bus shuttle, I believe, that you can drive. It is a drivable route. But here we are on the 408 Bay. There we go, so that was a nice first run on Borden and version 5. Again, with the stuff I've said in the video, do let me know what you think about it, um, because it it is sort of like, I do want to drive everything in TFLE numbers and stagecoachy numbers, but I also wouldn't mind reverting it back to what I remember Borden and as um, properly. Do let me know your opinions and thoughts on that, um, I am up for them, um, and that will probably sculpt my decision um, and how I sort of choose to do it in video format. For now, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then do be sure to click that like button so that more people can find it and enjoy like you have. And if you haven't already, do be sure to subscribe to the Ammobus Videos YouTube channel for more content like this from the simulation section with only two videos twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays, as well as an archive of over 6,000 backseat and engine focused public transport videos from the UK and beyond. With buses, trams, trains, and more, there's something on there for everyone with an additional 21 of those videos added every week. Once again, I would like to thank you all for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you all in the next video. Make bye for now. Bye.